Here's an example of a shed roof garage, two car garage with shed roof framing, two by 10 rafters. Of course, your rafters might need to be larger, might need to be two by 12s, depending upon uh, snow loads and stuff like that. The, or you're gonna need to build a wall across here or extend the wall up here, put some gable studs in. And whether we are going to call these ceiling joist or rafter ties, garage ties, they will need to be installed. And in here I have two by 10, two foot on center. And I'm gonna try and provide you with some different examples. Um, make sure you check out the end of the video. I'm trying to have some links there to some different examples of these types of, different types of garage framing ideas for shed roofs. And you are going to need to mid-span block this. And it'd be nice to have some blocks that tie into the walls here. And again, I'm going to go over a little more of that in detail. It's nice to have a tie here in the center. And I'd imagine if an engineer drew this, he's, he, they would want blocks that uh, this would have some type of a tie. If you could just imagine this block wasn't here, Kind of like what would be stabilizing the wall here. We have the ceiling joists and the rafter stabilizing the walls on the front and the back, but here we wouldn't. But if we uh, put a couple of straps in or some framing anchors and connected these two blocks or strapped it all the way across kind of a thing, you'd get a nice tie across there. And again, more on that in the in the future videos. So check the back of the video at the end for links to that and of course other garage videos with different types of roofs. So here we have the roof framing, two foot on center. And these rafters are going to need to be shaped for the tails unless you're gonna use larger fascia board. I see that uh, every once in a while, someone will have a two by, two by 10 rafter and they don't shape the tail, cut it a little smaller. You can see where it's cut here and uh, then they'll put two by eight fascia board on and you can see the rafters doesn't look that good. Don't forget the blocks will be shaped also angled to the roof pitch and of course to notch the ends of the ceiling joists if necessary so that uh, the plywood makes a nice blend in. Up the barge rafter there, the lookouts, right here to support the fascia board and again the shaped blocks here and of course they would be shaped uh, in the same direction as the other blocks take a look underneath same thing the other end of the rafter will need to be shaped so that it doesn't stick below the fascia board if you are going to use smaller fascia board this will give you an idea of the blocking here. Gable studs, how they tie to the end rafter here, creating a nice flat surface. The other end, bottom view here, wanted to give you an idea what it would look like here. Sometimes we're going to have to put some blocks here to finish this off. But I've seen people plenty of times they stucco a building and they just go right up the blocks. And of course, you're gonna put a soffit underneath here that would eliminate the need for blocks there also. This is a four and 12 pitch if I didn't mention that. And there's your sheeting in your complete garage. So I guess it'd be nice if you could just uh, build these things and print them out with the 3D printers. And who knows, maybe in the future we will be able to. So anyway, that's it for this video. And don't forget to check out some of our other two-car garage um, roof framing examples with different types of roofs.